What's up, buttercups? <laughs> Have y'all been finding yourself organizing a lot here lately? Getting rid of clutter and putting what you keep in order. I feel like it's springtime now and many of you are spring cleaning. Going through your closets, realizing how many things have actually accumulated. Organizing the garage, putting things in order around the house. I know I have definitely been in this organizing energy all day today. It is absolutely amazing how much clutter can collect. <laughs> Barbara Hempwell said, clutter is nothing more than postponed decisions. We don't know what we're going to do with the object that we have, so we put it aside and decide at another time what we're going to do with it. And eventually we do the same with another object and another object until we have a whole pile of objects before us. Filling up a space, but not serving a purpose. And we are at a stage in life where we're overwhelmed by the amount that has been postponed. We are figuring out what our purpose is, and we are filling our being with our purpose. It is time to clear out things that no longer serve us and organize the things that do serve us. Getting things in order within ourselves. Now is the time to clear up all of these decisions that we've been putting off. Pete Walsh once said, Clutter is not just the stuff on the floor. It's anything that stands between you and the life that you want to be living. Clutter puts a barrier between you and the door of opportunity. Think of the length of time it would take you to get from your bed to your door without clutter on the floor versus if you had to get to your door with clutter in the way. Getting things in order makes sure you're not wasting time. Ben Franklin said, For every minute spent organizing, an hour is earned. I just recently bought a shelf that has key hooks on it and a shelf above it. And on this shelf, there is a spot for outgoing mail that needs to be mailed out that morning and a spot for new mail if the kids check it. There's a spot for everyone's keys. Being organized and having a spot for everything allows me more time. I used to have a horrible habit of laying my keys down random places when I got home. I was unaware of what I had done with them and then I would have to spend lots of time in the morning finding them. Organizing and putting things in order is not just physical things in your home. Think about it. You can organize budgets, thoughts, home, closet, garage, workspace, taxes, schedules, or events, just to name a few. So many things can be organized. Just think about organizing a budget for a moment. There's literally unlimited possibilities to organizing a budget. You can do it electronically or buy a budget planner where you physically write down your expenses. Some people do an envelope system. Some people may use spreadsheets to track spending. Your net income is going to be unique to you. Your expenses are going to be unique to you. You have to start making choices about how you are going to design your budget. Are you going to download an app and input your expenses? Are you going to label envelopes and put cash in those envelopes for expenses? Or you could be organizing your thoughts. There's many ways to look at a situation. Think about what direction you want to head in life. Then pay attention to your thoughts. Are they wandering and spending energy on people or things that are getting you where you're going? Are your thoughts intentional and purposeful? Are your thoughts believing in you? 
Be the observer of your thoughts and organize your thoughts to provide answers to how you want it to handle certain situations. It's a time to purge what is no longer serving you. Get rid of the weights that are holding you down. Clutter that is slowing you down. I like to think of it more as a soft and gentle purge. We are going at our own pace, cleaning out the closets and the cars and the garages, but we are able to clear the space in the physical because we cleared the space energetically. We are clearing all of this space so our purpose may fill us. So next time you find yourself clearing out clutter or organizing, remember the energetic overlap. Things you used to hold on to, things you used to value are being transmuted into different energy. We are aligning to become more our authentic self. No longer hanging on to the things that we do not need. Letting things go. Surrendering. Releasing those energies that you are hanging on to. Think of it as getting a box of clutter out of your bedroom. This is a box that you're going to donate to the local thrift store. You know that someone else can use these items. So you release the items to the thrift store and allow these things to find new homes for people who can use them. Release your energetic clutter to the universe and allow space for new things to come in. Things that will align to the new version of yourself. The organized in order version of yourself. If you resonated with this video, just give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video. Mwah!